Okay, so I'm sitting outside the church service and um, basically I just want to like do a breakdown of the sermon or whatever. So as you guys know, I'm starting this journey into faith and it's because, you know, I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like it, it's definitely like time to start like resubmitting myself into the word and into, you know, what God has to offer. I feel like I've tried everything else, not everything else or whatever, but I just feel like I've done a lot of um, escaping and not enough solution finding. And I feel like this was the best solution because when you are when you involve yourself with God, it's like you submit yourself to something higher and then you elevate as well. So today in the sermon, um, I have it in my notes, hold on. Okay, so today we had um, a guest, oh, I go to um, Grace Baptist. No, this is not Grace Baptist. This is Grace, Grace Methodist Church in um, Queens. Mm, there are probably like a, a couple other churches like that in Queens. I'm not sure. But I'm going here with my aunt and her family because they're really like, well, she's really submerged in the word and then her children are my cousins and stuff. So, you know, I just wanted to go somewhere where I felt like, you know, the word is like like people really feel it like you know it's not just something like people just go and they're just like there it's like you know everyone is really like involved in this church so i wanted to be a part of that but also i feel like i need to start visiting other churches as well but when that time comes i'll get there so um <clears throat> what the pastor was talking about in the sermon he was talking about nibbling your way lost and he was basically saying, like, there's this part in the um, in the Bible, I'm not really sure what it is, but it's a parable, and it talks about how a sheep um, ended up getting lost from the shepherd. There are, like, 99 sheep, and there's, no, there's, like, 100 sheep, and this one sheep is um, nibbling. You know, it goes from one little bush to another bush to another bush, and, you know, it's just grazing on the things, on... Um, you know the food supply and stuff but by the time it picks its head back up it's no longer with the herd because you know it nibbled its way lost and he compared us to the sheep who sometimes end up finding our way lost not by intention not by you know being rebellious but more so just by the sense that you know sometimes we nibble sometimes we dabble in other things and when you dabble sometimes it's a gateway into another lifestyle that you didn't intend for it to be so um he talked a lot about that and then he said yeah like he said like it's not always intentional that we get lost but you know we do and the solution hey Shaolin, the solution would be trying to you know dive your way back into the word and you know get more involved with it you know but in order to do that sometimes the people within the church have to find a way to connect with you because sometimes you know you are a part of something but if everyone else isn't helping you feel just as much a part of it as you feel a part of it, then you might lose interest. So I feel like it, he was also explaining how it's the people who are also inside the church, the faith that's inside of the church, they're part of the job of, you know, building the church is being transformed. And in being transformed, you have to remember that your mission is to bring people who are lost and bring people who are sinning and well, who are sinners? We're all sinners, but, you know, to remember to include them in part of the journey. It's not something that you can, you just have to do alone or, you know, just because you're super righteous doesn't mean you have to, you know, not include people who aren't as super righteous as you. It's the part of spreading God's word is to have everyone involved because God loves everybody. And if you love God, you would understand that that's his, a part of his mission. So, um... Yeah, that's basically it, you know, and he also talked about um, not oppressing others who are outside of the church or outside of a, a spiritual form because I feel like ultimately to be happy, everyone is kind of looking for something that gratifies them, that um, valid valid whatever, you know, makes them feel whole and complete. And I feel like, you know, a part of if you're a church-going person, if you're submerged in the word, if you're interested in that lifestyle, then I feel like it's important to, you know, bring that to other people and, you know, to kind of include them in that. So that's really it. I'm about to run some more errands and stuff. So, yeah, it's really nice, you know.